Hey, Brian here from RVWithTito.com. How's it going? Thanks for being part of this project uh, to remodel our 11-year-old Class C motorhome. It's pretty exciting at this point to see all the changes that we've made so far. Things are really starting to come together and uh, really starting to kind of see what our vision was for this space, actually starting to come to life. But I've also really enjoyed all of your uh, feedback and comments and suggestions along the way. It's been really helpful to me and I hope that you're getting something out of it too. Today we're going to deal with the flooring here in the RV and take care of that part of the project. And this has really been uh, a part of the project that we really weren't sure what to do about because from the beginning we were looking around at the flooring going, well, I'm not really sure what we want to do. And uh, we looked at the carpet and the linoleum and said, well, maybe we just don't want to mess with it. It looks okay, let's just leave it alone. But uh, that all kind of changed when we uh, took out the furniture, specifically this jackknife sofa over here, and saw what was uh, what was left behind. Holy cow, check this out. Mm -hmm. It actually looks like two different carpets in here. Oh my God, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Definitely pulling this up and changing it. Our original thought was that we were gonna just replace the carpet up front and try to keep it simple. But the more we looked at it, we looked at the linoleum, we kind of have a funky transition with the linoleum versus the carpet. And so instead, we're just gonna do one type of flooring from the bathroom all the way through. So I think the next step is we're gonna rip this up and see what we're dealing with. Yeah, well, I've uh, hit a bit of a snag on my flooring project here that's going to probably set me back a day or two. This isn't totally unexpected. I know that uh, over time, you know, I've got those refrigerator vents on the side that, uh, you know, help heat escape. But occasionally, you know, when it's raining sideways and really windy, uh, some water tends to, or rain tends to blow in those, uh, those holes and uh, gets on top of the fridge or on the side of the fridge and it runs down and I've had some issues with water getting in here. I've thought I've always dried it up okay but silly me, <laughs> not the case. So definitely some has gotten behind uh, where I couldn't reach to dry it up and uh, seeped into the wood over the last 10 years or so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to repair this and uh, put a new piece of uh, subfloor in. It's just half inch plywood so I'm going to swap it out with uh, with a half inch piece of probably treated plywood, the marine grade stuff, and uh, hopefully be able to seal it up and do this without having to take the slide off because I don't think I wanna take on that project. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Not. Yeah, I wasn't going to give in to this floor. It was hard, I'm going to admit it, to, to get that floor up. Everything was glued down and uh, took a lot of prying and banging around, as you uh, saw. But I was victorious. I wasn't going to let it get the best of me. And uh, I think I've got it all prepped and ready to go for a nice new piece of wood. But uh, there's a couple things that I had to deal with uh, outside of just getting that uh, wood and some of the rotted pieces out. There's a brace under there that uh, supports the slide. So it's actually got a metal bracket and a vinyl piece on top. And that's what the this end of the slide out actually slides on. So I tried, but I, I couldn't get it out even after releasing a little bit of pressure. So what I ended up doing is uh, cutting a couple of pieces of quarter inch uh, steel and I cut some small pieces that I could then wedge underneath that support bracket. And uh, you know, so two of those uh, quarter inch pieces gives me half an inch, which is actually the thickness of the subfloor. So I uh, was able to kind of grind a wedge on one of them and then kind of bang them into place. and. Actually, I think they uh, provide a lot more support than they did before, and the slide out is uh, it seems really smooth now. It doesn't uh, it doesn't rock around at all when I when I pull it in and uh, push it out. So I think that's going to be a good workaround for now, and then I'll uh, be able to get a piece of wood and kind of uh, sneak it in around that bracket. I actually think it's kind of cool to see uh, what's underneath the subfloor. Let me show you. We've got our steel frame, and then in between you can see that there's styrofoam insulation so that uh, you know looks pretty solid now the other challenge was I had to remove uh, some of these carriage bolts that kind of went all the way through to uh, bolt to either a storage compartment underneath the floor or the structure of the RV a lot of those are kind of rusted out so I ended up having to kind of grind them off because they're kind of gnarly let me yeah you can see here's one I don't know if you can see that I'll do a little close-up but yeah, it's real rusty and uh, it was real hard to get out. So I ended up just grinding the top off of it, cutting it off and then banging it through. And I'm going to replace them with some nice stainless steel uh, carriage bolts. Now the last thing I did was to take a grinder and uh, kind of grind down some of those metal surfaces that I could reach and give it a nice uh, clean look. So I got a lot of the rust off that I could get to. And I think it looks a lot better now. And uh, pretty much ready to uh, put this uh, new piece of wood down. Yeah, I'm going to glue it all back in place like the other one was and uh, should be good to go. I let the glue uh, dry overnight and I uh, went back this morning and went ahead and took a planer and smoothed out all those edges because I want a nice smooth transition between you know each piece of wood and I don't want any bumps in the flooring so got that taken care of and then I went back and uh, put a nice uh, bead of sealant all around all the cracks to seal it all up and I think it looks pretty good you know this isn't uh, necessarily how I plan to spend this part of the project but um, you know, Murphy paid me a visit and derailed me, but I'm really glad that uh, actually I, that I got it done and I'm pretty happy with 
with the outcome. Now I still have to uh, prep the bathroom and actually get all the flooring in, but uh, that's going to have to wait till next time. In the meantime, you know, drop me some comments and suggestions and uh, let me know what you think of this fix. And uh, yeah, we'll touch base next time and I'll see you then.